there is a you know so in this gemini gemini is very clear very concise but difficult at the same point because it is precise it is concise being concise is the problem right so gemini talks about atmakarak and surprisingly all the books written on gemini system of astrology none of them give any importance to atmakarak gemini according to gemini atmakarak is the most powerful right atmakarak is the king of the horoscope so is tebhan the moksha and all of that and other books on gemini system of astrology technically gives no importance to atmakarak least mentioned atmakarak is the least mentioned planet but why he they will mention it gemini have already mentioned atmakarak in full one chapter so why they will mention it again they will work on what is not touched upon why they will work on what is already well elaborated right so literature on atmakarak you feel very less there is very few literature is available on atmakarak except for gemini but yes regarding gemini my opinion is very simple you cannot take opinion of others verbatim and i am talking of classical authors i am not talking of modern authors at all modern authors opinion is more or less a garbage but still this is my own opinion <laughs> so right talking of classics only now come to this atmakarak point so there is a person i will not name him he puts an interpretation to because once again the commentator will put his own mind like i am putting my own mind this is the thing no why why what is the duty of a teacher or of an astrologer or of anyone there are three purposes right if you classically do it three things are there first of all you will give synopsis of the tradition whatever is there in tradition you will give a synopsis of it so every classic will start with there are 12 rashis first rashi is aries you give synopsis synopsis of the basic and whatever is there in tradition your second work is to validate the opinion for example if there are one or one more than one opinion so you will validate an opinion that this opinion is what i take other opinion you will mention as as mentioned by others so this word is very often used at as mentioned by others it is showing that the author knows of the opinion is treating it as a secondary opinion is not the favorite opinion of the author as such and along with this if author wants he can add his own experience also that he will put somewhere in between that this is my own opinion or that is my own opinion and what is the own opinion of the person you will know as you read it for example if you have read jatak parijat you will see there is this pushkaramsha is mentioned there it is not mentioned in any other classic so pushkaramsha is the research of this vaidyanath guy because only he is introducing it no one else is introducing it so this is his own research just an example so many such things are there you have to have a clever site however coming back to my topic this atmakarak who is atmakarak first is standard atmakarak right this is opinion of some so just a glimpse of advanced gemini if i ever teach you just giving you a glimpse because i think this is very necessary to teach right now so that's fine including who is atmakarak standard atmakarak is planet in highest degree he is saying but we take minutes right planet in highest minute in rashi is the atmakarak standard atmakarak you know this atmakarak he tells that this highest atmakarak kaladi bhirn bhoga sapt asht namava here he have used the word kaladi but he did not say where so this where can be interpreted in multiple ways so secondarily he says planet with highest minute because kaladi is mentioned minute in bhava i will come to this bhava part this is misinterpretation
highest planet in highest minute planet. This is three and four. Highest minute planet in day half and night half. What is day half? 7th house to 12th house. Night half is first house to 6th house. So planet with highest minute between these houses only you have made a complete two fraction of the zodiac. Then fifth, sixth, he is mentioning highest planet in Chakrarth. Highest minute planet in Chakrarth. Chakrarth means Chakrarth 1 between Aries to Virgo, Chakrarth 2 between Libra to Pisces. This is Chakrarth. Right. And lastly, Highest minute planet behind moon. And behind sun. Now in this particular setup, this rule number seven and eight. Here he is taking the calculation of Rashi also. Here the calculation is made in 360 degree setup. So for example, when he is saying highest planet, he means highest planet behind moon and behind sun. So planet closest to moon or closest to, to sun, but not after moon and after sun, before moon and before sun. These are the eight type of Atmakargas. Classic mentions that. What to do with it? He is clueless. What to do with it? Everyone is clueless. But should you also remain clueless is the question. I will explain to everybody. Planned with the highest minute in Rashi is the standard Atmakarak. You know this Atmakarak. You are using it for everything. This is Atmakarak that Germany is using. So strength and weakness of this Atmakarak is giving you Bandhan and Moksha that you already know. Along with that, you are using Swamsha also based on this Atmakarak and other Karakas. Right. Atmakarak can be decided using eight ways. Other Karakas are decided using the standard method only. This principle is not applicable to other Karakas at all. It seems like only Atmakarak is important. Other Karakas are not important. Why? Because Atmakarak, as the name suggests, indicates the self. So it is self and different manifestations of the self which is important. One thing is there. Either you say that, sir, out of these eight opinions, only one opinion is truth. This is a narrow point of thinking, but okay. Or you say, I will not say you that only one is truth. I will tell you all out of all eight of them are true. You can use all eight of these Adamakaraka simultaneously. And when you use them simultaneously, it will give you such a great depth in your astrological practice that you will forget using other karakas at all. You can still use them because when you go to the concept of karakamsha, then you have to use other karakas also as I told you. Planet with highest minute in a bhava, this I will not use because I don't believe in the concept of bhava at all. Why I don't believe in the concept of bhava? There is multiple options. So someone is saying that there can be a bhava chart. It is coming from this particular notion that bhava and rashi are different. Which is not true. Planet with highest minute in day half or night half. This is something that you have to understand. trying to make a very small horoscope, right? This is a horoscope. It is map of sky. Okay. Ascendant sun is there at sunrise. In afternoon, sun will go into the 10th house. In evening, sun will go into the 4th house. And 
in midnight sun will go into the fourth house sorry this is the basic point this is basic astronomical funda you all know that this is how the ascendant is decided right now sun is in scorpio suppose sun is in scorpio at 21 degree so at the time of sunrise sun will be in scorpio at 21 degrees and 1 degree he will cross in 4 minute how do i know 1 degree he will cross in 4 minute i will tell you because in 24 hours he have to cross 12 ascendant so he will cross one ascendant in 2 hour one ascendant in 2 hour means if sun will have to cross 30 degree in 120 minutes the answer is 0.25 or 120 divided by 30 the answer will be 4 so in 4 minute he will cross 1 degree so sun is at 21 degree rashi will end at 30 degree how many degrees are left 9 degrees are left and 9 multiplied by 4 in 36 minutes after sunrise sun will go into 12th house and because sun is in scorpio right now scorpio will also go into the 12th house along with sun and the ascendant will be the next rashi sagittarius in this particular way in every 2 hours sun will keep on going through houses to rise in the ascendant next day in 22 degrees so in 30 days sun will cross all the 30 degrees and after 30 days sun will rise into 1 degree of capricorn So this is how you decide the ascendant. Right now it is evening. So keeping in mind, taking very standard that sun rises in eastern direction at six in the morning. Six to eight sun will be in the ascendant. Eight to ten sun will be in the twelfth house. Ten to twelve sun will be in eleventh house. Twelve to two sun will be in tenth house. Two to four sun will be in ninth house. Four to six sun will be in eighth house. Six to eight sun will be in seventh house. Eight to ten sun will be in Uh, sixth house, ten to twelve, sun will be in fifth house. Twelve to two, sun will be in fourth house. Two to four, sun will be in third house, and four to six, sun will be in ascendant. This is approximate every day. Sunrise does not happen at six in the morning. That you have to keep in mind. Sunrise keeps on changing. Right now it is nine seven p.m. So sun technically should be between fifth house to sixth house. Right, fifth house or sixth house, sun should be in. Where is sun? Fifth house. So this is how you calculate the ascendant, and because the time keeps on changing, where Atri is sitting right now, it is different time. Where I am sitting right now, it is different time. So sun, the placement of sun is different. It will change the ascendant. Rest for his place also. Sun is in Scorpio with Mars. For my place also, sun is in Scorpio with Mars. This is same. Ascendant will keep on changing as per the birthplace. That's it. This is the basic point. Right. I will come back to it. This is astronomical point. What you understand from this astronomical point? That from second house to seventh house, sun will cross in daytime. And from sixth house to ascendant, sun will cross in night time. this you understand or not now what you do in day time you do your work and social activity what you do in night time you take rest you spend the time with your family right now planet having highest minute between 7th house to 12th house is having highest minute in work and social activity part this planet will indicate your work and your social life planet with highest degree in the night part will indicate how you behave with your family and how much rest you are getting in your life i will give you an example 
Remember the basic interpretation is basic interpretation is minute. Ketu should we consider? Rahu Ketu should we consider? We are only considering Atma Gara. Right? Other Karakas we don't have to calculate. So Rahu Ketu can you take? No, oh, I can't. You can't. So between 7th house to 12th house, there is only one planet moon. There is no question of calculation. Only moon. Moon indicates social life and work life. In the personal life between 1st house to 6th house, multiple planets are there and out of them, who is having the maximum minutes? Maximum minute planet is 48 Jupiter. Jupiter. So Jupiter is indicating personal life. Jupiter is indicating family. So moon indicating social life and moon indicating work life. Moon going into the Rashi of Jupiter. Right? This person is aspiration for many. Jupiter people you want to become like you. Jupiter sets the standard. Jupiter is the teacher. No, people want to become like their teacher. So in the world of technology and all of this, he is popular. Seen as a teacher, people want to become like him. This is first point. Secondarily, this moon is going in Rashi Pisces. This Pisces is as per you should take the nature of Pisces. That is first basic point. And how you will interpret Pisces? Secret rule yaan par bata de, na bata de, thoda sa. Suvidha mein pohun jata, fir mein wapis. Chalo, fir se. So if you want to interpret Pisces, two, three things are there. Take the lot of the Rashi, planet exalted in the Rashi. Debilitated in the Rashi. Exalted in the Rashi is Venus, lot of the Rashi is Jupiter, both of them are ministers. What type of work is a ministerial work? Intellectual work. This person should do intellectual work. In his work, he will do intellectual work. In his social activity, he is Jupiter-like. People want to become like him. Right? People aspire to become like him. Royal, regal, whatever you say about Jupiter. So this is the result. Further, you can see that Jupiter is situated in the third house. Third house, according to me, indicates business also. So this person is into business. Third house indicate hard work also. So people know of his hard work. Third house you will see will make Dhiman Tayog. Which will indicate intelligence. So in social life people are, he is known for his hard work, for his intelligence, for his business acumen, for his risk taking ability, etc, etc. Because the Lord is going into third house. Third house from the ascendant. You can ask me, sir, why you are not using Atmakara and Arud? Because calculation I started from ascendant, not from Atmakara or Arud. We are concerned with sun. Sun is deciding the day half and night half, right? So that is my reference point. Personal life is indicated by Jupiter. And this Jupiter is situated in Leo. Right? And the Lord of Leo is debilitated. It is going into fifth house. So first of all, fifth house, he had a love marriage. But he is debilitated. He eventually got divorced and it is found that he was cheating his life partner. Personal life is indicated by Jupiter. Right? In Leo, Leo is not a very good Rashi. So marital life should not be told to be very good as such. And eventually if Gemini is giving you a prediction, he is giving you a prediction. The Lord of the Rashi is weak. Personal life have to be haphazard. So divorce happens at the age of 20, 30, 40, 50 or 70. That does not matter. It will happen. That happened. So two things. Taking the nature of the planet who is becoming. Right. Moon is becoming the Atmakarak for social life. Moon himself is the significator for business by the way. Moon himself is the significator for design. Moon himself is the significator for entertainment. Microsoft Office was sold 
because it was more graphic over DOS, which he replaced. Right. And Moon is abuse friendly. Why Windows is the market leader? Because Windows is abuse friendly as compared to Mac. Mac is not very abuse friendly. Mac is very secure. Moon knows no security. Right. So based on the planet, who is becoming the Atmakarak, based on the Rashi, this Atmakarak is situated in, and based on the Lord of this Rashi, where this Atmakarak is situated in, two types of Atmakarak, one who indicates the social and professional life, and another Atmakarak who is indicating personal life and relationships with people. You can interpret multiple things. So my opinion, as I told you, the classic gives you eight types of Atmakarak, that's all. Whether you should use them together, you should use them differently, or you should use them to find who is the actual Atmakarak, he is silent on it. Remaining things that I am teaching, this interpretation that I taught you is my interpretation. Sanjay ji, you want to ask something? I was the moon is also becoming Digbal Hin here. So, Digbal ka principle use karna hai kya? Digbal ka principle, Sanjay ji, you can. You can. So, you can use cake in his mouth, people have put it बाद में ये बड़ा पता चलता है ये इन्होंने इससे चोरी कर लिया जो उससे चोरी कर लिया है ना बट यू शुड रिमेंबर 10000 11000 एवरी प्लेनेट इज गुड सो एट द एंड ऑफ एट द एंड ऑफ द डे सक्सेस अचीवमेंट दे विल गिव पर्सनल लाइफ आल्सो दिस आत्मकार इज जुपिटर नो बिल गेट्स इज आल्सो नोन फॉर हिज फिलंथ्रोपी एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस एक्टिविटीज बिल एंड मेलिंडा गेट्स फाउंडेशन अंटिल एंड अनलेस पीपल केम टू नो दैट द फाउंडेशन ऑफ देयर मैरिज इटसेल्फ इज सेकी Whatever. Jokes apart. Now this is Chakrarth part. Next the Atmakarak number 5-6. Highest planet in Chakrarth. There is Chakra Chakra means what? Rahi Chakra. Zodiac Chakra, right? And Ard means half. I don't know. So what you should do? This Chakra should be taken from Aries to Virgo and Libra to Pisces. Is it correct? ये चक्र एरिस से शुरू होगा ये कौन कह रखा है चक्र तो कहीं से भी शुरू हो सकता है सेंटर में सर्कल थोड़ा ही होता है सर्कल में सेंटर थोड़ा ही होता है तो इट इज बेटर टू डू इट बेस्ड ऑन उत्तरायण एंड दक्षिणायन राइट दैट इज अ मोर क्लासिकल प्रिंसिपल तो आई विल मेक टू सेटअप वन इज फ्रॉम कैप्रिकॉन टू जेमिनाई दिस इज कॉल्ड उत्तरायन प्लैनेट इज गोइंग थ्रू उत्तर डायरेक्शन नो ही इज गोइंग टू कैंसर Another is Cancer to Sagittarius, which will be Dakshinayan. Cancer being the fourth house, fourth house is north direction. I will do it very simply. Lagna is east, tenth house is south, seventh house is west, fourth house is north. So from Cancer to Sagittarius, planet Sun is basically going to Capricorn. After entering Cancer, he is starting to Capricorn. Capricorn is south, south is called Dakshin, so Dakshinayan. After entering into Capricorn, he will move towards Cancer. Cancer is in north. North is called Uttar, so that is Uttarayan, right? Capricorn to Gemini is Uttarayan because the target is to reach Cancer. And Cancer to Sagittarius is Dakshinayan because the target is to reach Capricorn. That is the basic point. Now in the same table of what I told you before, my friend. Remember the sun, sun rising, sunset? All of these things. So sun is at sunrise, sun is in east direction. In afternoon, sun will go into south direction. In evening, sun will go into west direction. In mid night, sun will be in north direction. So it is divided into two areas, right? This is called Udit Golar, right? Rising part. Rising part. 
and this is called adrishya gola the setting part why because after midnight is over sunrise is to happen so if sun is right here sun will go into this direction one by one and this planet will go to ascendant one by one after sun have gone into the after sun have gone into sorry when the sun is in fourth house right now what is in 10th house will be in ascendant as sun will go into the reverse direction this planet this uh, rashi in the ascendant will go towards the 10th house and others will keep on rising so after midnight you say sunrise is about to happen and after midday you say evening is about to happen so between midnight to afternoon this is the rising part these planets rise in the sky and after noon up to midnight you say night is there so this is the setting part panna is very simple rising part focuses on the society here the focus is how people see me setting part is self focused or i will use the word family focused before i go back to the funda so you know four parts are there society focused and work focused rather you take rising part is work focused and setting part is enjoyment focused society and work focused right isko fir you can see a small horoscope here right very quickly so four division you have to make this is work focused for work focused in for society this is enjoyment focused for society this is enjoyment focused for self this is enjoyment focused for now the society will become family so in any horoscope you see maximum planets between lagna to fourth house one is enjoyment focused and family focused i should enjoy family should enjoy maximum planet between 4th house to 6th house person is self enjoyment focused i should enjoy maximum planet between 7th house to 10th house person is social enjoyment focused i should have name fame status people should respect me people should give me money that kind of and the maximum planet between 10th house to ascendant person is society work focused what i can give to society what i can do for society how i can uplift people people say me ki sir why you call out mistakes so strongly because i have five planets in this six planets in this gap 10th house to ascendant i am society work focused what we are doing to society are we doing good to the astrological society or not that is my focus i will call out someone who is having maximum planet between 7th house to 10th house they will be like ki agar mere ko lal kitab padhane se paisa milta hai to main lal kitab padha leta hu koi baat nahi because he is society enjoyment focused no if people you know want to listen this i will say this society enjoyment focused na people should listen to me maximum planet between 4th house and 7th house is also good why because this person will be i believe in vedic i will teach vedic people listen to me does not matter people change their way does not matter this is more consultation focused person consultation focused astrologer i believe in vedic i will do vedic people use vedic or do not use vedic i don't care i am not going to teach it people should appreciate me that i am using the principle which everyone uses i don't want that also and this person having maximum planets between this first house to fourth house this is like my family is having more demands or my family is telling me to get married so for the time being let's stop astrology do something else get married then i will pursue astrology later on अभी मम्मी जो कह रही है वो कर लेते हैं बाद में करेंगे फोकस ऑफ द पर्सन यू कैन इजली दिस इज अ वेरी सुपर टेक्निक 
and i don't read a horoscope without doing this because first you see the focus na what the person is focused on then you make the prediction then you give the advice focus of the person is very necessary however coming back to this point you have to find atmakarak in this two set also and a maximum degree planet between 10000 to 4000 and 4000 to 10000 In fact, I will say maximum degree planet between ten thousand to third house and between four thousand to nine thousand. This is the setup I will make differentiation. Let's take another example. इसमें आप क्या उत्तरायण और दक्षिणायण का राशि नहीं देखना है? इसमें houses के हिसाब से लेकर के चलते राशि को मैंने replace house से कर दिया समझे? Sorry, uh, between uh, Capricorn to Gemini. Yes, yes. Sorry, sir. Between Capricorn to Gemini and between Cancer to uh, this Sagittarius. Rashi's you have to consider. So in the horoscope of Steve Jobs, what you are doing for the society will be seen by planets between Capricorn to Gemini. What you are doing for self is seen planet between Cancer to Sagittarius. So between Capricorn to Gemini, remember Capricorn to Gemini, not Gemini to Capricorn. Capricorn to Gemini, Jupiter is having thirty-two minutes. Mars is having seven minutes. Moon is having fifty-one minutes. Sun is having forty-seven minutes. Mercury is having twenty-three minutes. Who is Atmakarak? Moon. Moon is maximum minute in society department. Moon is having maximum minutes. Okay. In personal life, that is Cancer to Sagittarius. Two planets are there: Saturn, Venus. Saturn is twelve minute. Venus is twelve minute. Saturn is eleven minute. So Venus is the maximum minute planet. Self is indicated by Venus. In society, person is seen like Moon, friendly, happy, go lucky. Once again, you see the ratio of Venus. It makes people respect you, adore you. Steve Jobs is seen like a genius. The ratio of Jupiter. This Jupiter is in eleven thousand. Made a lot of money. Made innovation. And all of that X Y Z is what people believe. In personal life, he is ruled by Venus. Venus is the Mandi Rahu. Personal life, you don't know much about his personal life, but I will tell you when he was suffering with cancer on his deathbed, it came to light that he was having an extramarital affair with his past girlfriend, from which he also had an illegitimate child. Venus with Rahu and Mars, you see, peculiar trait. Rahu visits with visits to prostitutes. extra marital affairs this is what is happening with the mandi is also there so that image of steve jobs that the world is having like he is a saint he is visiting a saint in india uttarakhand he is visiting kahin chi dam god knows for what purpose but in personal life he is ha having illegitimate children because it is with rahu and mandi right personal life is more venus about these people you don't know much about their personal life you apply its principle on people you know it will be more clear you know how i'm calculating right i am taking planet in that particular half that i am talking about and after taking the planet in that particular half i take the planet with highest minute that i will not do with sun and moon this is the planet just behind sun and planet just behind moon is the seventh and eighth type of atmakarak right planet just behind sun and planet just behind moon okay okay just behind sun and just behind moon you have because if you say planet behind sun every planet is behind sun right like so in this setup what you do you start seventh from the planet this is a basic point because planet up to the seventh rashi is front of the planet right so if i am saying planet behind sun start in seventh from sun and check up to sun if i am saying planet behind moon start in seventh from moon and check up to moon the planet with highest minute for example in the horoscope of steve jobs seventh to sun is the ascendant from there between saturn venus and mercury Saturn eleven minutes, Venus twelve minutes, and Mercury twenty three minutes. Mercury is behind Saturn. Mercury indicates the real nature of Steve Jobs. 
Mercury in the sixth house, it indicates that Steve Jobs is having a lot of weakness. Sixth house weakness. Mercury is a fickle planet. Mercury is retrograde. He have done mistakes that he repents. An autobiograph autobiography he have not written. If he should have written autobiography, then you will know. Better example will be Gandhi ji. Because he have written an autobiography, you know. So seventh to sun is Pisces. From Pisces up to sun, Jupiter moon is there. Jupiter is 24 minutes. Moon is 43 minutes. Moon is the planet. So Mahatma Gandhi is self-introspective. He introspects himself a lot and it is with Rahu also. He have done some malice which he openly accepts. Experiments with truth. Right. So moon, he is open, he is clear, he is pure, he believes in something and he will do those things that he believes in. If Mahatma Gandhi thinks that you should speak truth, he will also always speak truth. If Mahatma Gandhi is telling you, burn your western clothes, he makes sure that he also does not wear western clothes. In Savarmati Ashram, he used to clean all the toilets himself. His moon, you know, emotionally emotional person, he will see the suffering of uh, on some lower class, lower class person, he will name them Harijan and he will work with them. Right? So, inner nature is moon-like and moon is also in own Rashi, right? So, he, it is very emotional. It's very, very emotional. So emotional that his interpretation of Bhagavad Gita, he is very much criticized about it. But he go by his emotions, right? So, Bhagavad Gita will say, Mere liye Bhagavad Gita ek man ka antar hai. ये ये नहीं पूछ रहे वो क्यों आपके मन की बात आपसे किसने पूछी भगवत गीता सच में क्या है ये बताओ मेरे हिसाब से मन का अंतर दोन है मेरे हिसाब से क्या मतलब होता है बट गांधी इज नॉट कंसर्नड विद असल में भगवत गीता क्या है गांधी इज कंसर्नड विद मेरे हिसाब से क्योंकि दो बातें हैं ना अभी अगर मैं आपको बोलूं कि दो चीजें हो सकती हैं मेरे हिसाब से ऋषि के हिसाब से आप क्या जानने में इंटरेस्ट रखते हो अगर मून बली वाला पर्सन होगा कि मैं तो वो बताऊंगा जो मेरे हिसाब से मार्स बली वाला प्लेनेट क्या कहेगा कि मैं वो बताऊंगा जो असलियत है तो मेरे हिसाब से क्या है मैं भगवान में भरोसा करता हूं कि नहीं करता हूं अलग बात है फॉर दिस रीजन मार्स इज रेशनल है ना मार्स क्या कहता है कि मैं भगवान को अगर प्रूव नहीं कर सकता तो भगवान नहीं है मून कहता है कि हमें तो भरोसा है हम तो प्रभु की दिव्यता का अनुभव करते हैं दिव्यता को मापने का मेजरमेंट नहीं है आप अनुभव करते हैं मून अनुभव करता है मार्स नहीं करता तभी ये मार्स में उच्च नीच का प्रॉब्लम है यानी आप बोलो भगवान की दिव्यता का कोई मापन है क्या मापन नहीं है दिव्यता है दिव्यता आप अनुभव कर सकते हो खुले मन से अनुभव कर सकते हो माप उस दिव्यता को नहीं सकते आपको भगवान ज्यादा प्यार करता है कम प्यार करता है इसको कोई मापदंड नहीं है ठीक हो प्लैनेट इन सेवंथ टू मून विल बी केतु एंड देन अप टू मून इज जुपिटर ओनली तो द फाइनेंसेस ऑफ महात्मा गांधी इज सीन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू जुपिटर दिस जुपिटर इज गोइंग इनटू एन एनिमिकल राशि तो महात्मा गांधी इज नॉट very well known for the finances that he was having as such. He's so not a very financial successful person. On the other hand, if you see the horoscope of Mukesh Ambani, say, seventh from moon is uh, Gemini. You have two competitors, Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, Saturn is having 44 minutes. Jupiter is having seven minutes. So Saturn is the ruler. That Saturn will become the Atmakarak. Saturn is in the Rashi of Mars. It is influenced by Mars. Saturn is retrograde. Saturn is quite powerful. Influenced by the Rashi Lord, planet becomes very powerful. So this powerful Saturn is indicating wealth, indicating that wealth will be very strong in his horoscope. Right? And this is how you are going to look at it. Nishchal, you want to ask something? Okay, these Atmakarakas are done. Six, seven type of Atmakarakas are there. You can use them for different purpose. As I told you, this is from a research formula. This is from the advanced, advanced Gemini. But I have taught you right now to help you better see the horoscope.